two senior prosecutors have resigned after the new Manhattan district attorney basically is pushing away from charging Donald Trump. That's right, there was so much moving forward before with Cy Vance when he was a district attorney. But now that this new guy is in office, he's walking away a bit. The prosecutors who decided to resign, that's Mark F. Palm Rance. Well, he is pictured here. And then there's also a Mr. Dune who we will talk about later. But he wrote a resignation letter that essentially told it all. And here's what the New York Times had to say in terms of that letter. One of the senior Manhattan prosecutors who investigated Donald J. Trump believed that the former president was guilty of numerous felony violations and that it was a grave failure of justice not to hold him accountable according to a copy of his resignation letter. That prosecutor, Mr. Pomerantz, submitted his resignation last month after the Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg abruptly stopped pursuing an indictment of Mr. Trump. Now let's go ahead and I'm gonna put up this picture here of Mr. Bragg who just came into office replacing Cy Vance. Yep, that's Alvin Bragg, he is the new DA in Manhattan. And despite all of the advancement that had been moving toward prosecuting Trump, all of a sudden he gets in office and he decides to pull back. Yeah, okay, let's turn back to New York Times. So this prosecutor who left, Mr. Pomerantz, 70 years old, he's a prominent former federal prosecutor and white collar defense lawyer who came out of retirement to work on the Trump investigation. He resigned the same day as Carrie R. Dune, another senior prosecutor leading the inquiry. Mr. Pomerantz's February 23rd letter, which was attained by the New York Times, offers a personal account of his decision to resign and for the first time states explicitly his belief that the office could have convicted the former president. Mr. Bragg's decision was contrary to the public interest, he wrote. The team that had been investigating Mr. Trump harbors no doubt about whether he committed crimes. He did. Now, so if you've been following the story, there's been escalating disagreement, essentially, I guess, between these special prosecutors and this now new prosecutor about whether or not they could prove that Donald Trump knowingly falsified the value of his assets in his annual financial statements. Now, Pomerantz clearly thinks that, yes, they could go ahead and convict him. There was enough there. While Mr. Dune and while Mr. Pomerantz were confident that the office could demonstrate that the former president had intended to inflate the value of his golf clubs, hotels, and office buildings, Mr. Bragg was not. That's essentially what's being said now in the media that Mr. Bragg had no idea, that he balked at the idea of prosecuting Trump and that there was sufficient information and knowledge there and evidence. And again, he balked at pursuing an indictment against Mr. Trump, a decision that shut down Mr. Pomerantz's and Mr. Dune's presentation of evidence to a grand jury and prompted their resignations. Mr. Bragg has said that his office continues to conduct the investigation. For that reason, Mr. Bragg, a former federal prosecutor and deputy New York State Attorney General who became DA in January is barred from commenting on the specifics. Now, Mr. Bragg's predecessor, Cy Vance Jr. had decided in his final days in office to move forward with getting an indictment or move toward it, leaving Mr. Trump just weeks away from likely criminal charges. Mr. Bragg's decision seems for now at least to have removed one of the greatest legal threats Mr. Trump has ever faced. Yeah, that's right. So mm, to me, this smells like hmm, maybe some of Trump's friends were able to buy themselves a new DA who would back off of Donald Trump. That's what I'm sensing, Ben. Yeah, I mean, like that is really what it seems like. Because I mean, let's think about it for like a second, right? Like, is he gonna drop random charges against like minor drug charges or like sex workers? Like, who is he targeting this towards? It's, you know, it's really magical. It's really mysterious how, you know, somehow people in power, they will get like indictments dropped and they won't even get anything sent to a grand jury. But if you're talking about regular working class people, especially if they're people of color or from a marginalized community, then all of a sudden the entire book is thrown at them. And you have nonviolent drug offenders in the United States that are in jail for like 20, 30 years, you know, sometimes even life. And yet somehow Donald Trump, 
manages to just escape legal scrutiny in this way. And that is what's just so shocking is just not even bringing it to trial. I mean, not even, are you kidding me? Not bringing it to trial, at least bring it to trial, right? Like, well, no, at least bring it to the grand jury. Cause the thing is, they were in the middle of presenting it to the grand jury. And this new DA comes in and says, whoa, 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 let's go ahead and stop this investigation. Remember that the Manhattan DA had run this all the way up to the US Supreme Court at one point. So this fight has been going on for years and this was just one of the avenues to actually holding Trump accountable. That has now been removed just by virtue of the fact that Bragg is now in office and he's claiming, "Oh, it's not good enough. We're going to stop here now. Get out of here. This is disgusting. This reeks of corruption and a lack of justice." And the thing is now all we can hope is that New York State that the Attorney General there, um, Letitia James, that she will continue with her work. And I think that's why Trump really hates her so much is because she's not gonna be able to be bought. And she's not gonna back down or let this go. And she's not going to be replaced unlike Cy Vance. And thus, there's a good chance that Trump will continue to have to face charges at that level. But by virtue of the fact that now he's definitely it seems not going to be facing them from the Manhattan DA. I'm just, this is disgusting, but hey, it reflects the corruption that is embedded in our system.